Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's video we're going to look at Kate by Ben Folds. Alright, it's a pretty fun one, very active piano part, and we're going to look at the main riff, and it looks like this. All right, we're gonna learn that much, which I realize is pretty much just a measure on repeat. However, that is the you know essential piano formula for most of the song, and I'll be introducing all those chords as well as the other sections in the rest of the videos over at hdpiano.com. And it's a super fun song, and I'm excited to be teaching it. So let's dive right in. One thing before we go, I am curious if you can think of other songs that kind of have a let's call it an awkward intro. I consider this intro to be quite awkward. I, there's this there's this kind of like false start, and then he starts again, and then when I first heard it, I definitely felt the beat in a different place. And when the drums came in, I was like, oh, that's where the beat is. Interesting, okay. And I can think of a lot of songs that you know, start like that, where there's an instrumental intro, but your brain kind of picks up on a different speed or a different tempo or a different placement of the beat. And then when the drums come in or the bass or something, you're like, oh, oh, I get it now. So I'm curious if you guys have any other examples that have done that to you, kind of tricked you into feeling it a different way. Let me know. I'm curious uh, to put a little list together. So comment, if you will. All right. We are in the key of F major here. And in our right hand, let's just check this out because it's nice and easy. We're playing an F major triad. So F major root position would be F A C. But in this case, we're playing the first inversion. So that's A, C, and F. We take that bottom F and bring it up an octave. And that's an inversion. Middle C is right here. Okay. So our right hand, like I said, very simple. Steady. All right, now the key with a song like this, with such an active piano part and, you know, it's not really about finger finger dexterity. It's you know more about just hammering out these chords. You want to be careful that you're not stressed, not tense. So relax that hand and use the weight of your arm to kind of jump up and down on the keys. Start at a nice slow tempo. See if you can just kind of even just playing it completely randomly. All right, these are actually good exercises for loosening up your arm. This song will be exhausting if you can't perform it with uh, good technique. Right? No stiff hands. None of this. I mean, that just hurts already, right? Just very limber. All right? So shake it out and just do what you can to get it feeling as relaxed as possible. And of course, slow tempos are always good for relaxation. All right, enough of the one chord jam. Let's check out the left hand. Right hand's pretty easy, so we'll leave that be for a minute. So it's got kind of a bluesy honky-tonk vibe, a little bit of boogie influence. And the notes here are F, G sharp, A, C. Those are our first four. And you'll notice at the beginning I said, you know, F, A, C. That's a F major root position triad. So our left hand is playing essentially a root position triad with the minor third, that G sharp, or we could call it A flat. All right, and that's what kind of gives it that bluesy feel. All right, so after that, we play a D and a high F before jumping back down to a low F. All right, so I'm just showing you the notes at this point. We'll Check out the rhythm here in just a second. All right, so what makes this track so tricky is that it's very upbeat heavy. I'll count it out for you and it looks like this. Three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, three, one, three. So, you know, I'm yelling out one and three, which normally are the heaviest 
you know, beats of a song. But in this case, the left hand, those are the only places where the left hand leaves any space. So this song is all about kind of that anticipation, and it creates that, you know, in, that very unstable uh, intro, at least. And once the drums come in, it kind of settles in. But I certainly was like, whoa, this is, I can't really quite figure out how this is supposed to feel. It's easy to think, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But that is incorrect. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? It's all about kind of jumping in, anticipating the one and anticipating the three. So let's slow it way down and add a little right hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. That is the gist of it. Now, with your right hand, you kind of want to give it a little more dynamics, you know, kind of interact with the left hand a little more. Kind of build towards the end of the measure, uh, share in the excitement of the upbeats. And three, and one, and three. All right, now let's bring it up to tempo a little bit here. faster and notice the left hand fingering I'm landing on my thumb on C and then using my pointer crossing over pointer thumb and back down to my pinky so we use our pointer and our thumb from A to C and from D to F Great, so that is you know, the gist of the piano part, and that's gonna get us through most of the song. Um, of course, we're gonna introduce some new chords, but I want you guys to really get that under your fingers and feel really comfortable and really relaxed, because without that as a foundation, it might be tough to learn the rest. And before we go, I am gonna show you a bit of, well, I'm gonna play the next chord of the verse, give you a taste of that, but also I wanna break down the, you know, the kind of false start, because it, it, it is fun to perform it as it is on the record. So what happened there? I just played, you know, as it would be played if, uh, you know, starting on the F and ending on the C. So, and then we just leave a, a single eighth note rest and we start over. We just make a loop out of it. Rest. Right, so there's just a little pause and then we get into it. So it's like a three beat, uh, you know, awkward intro before we get into the real thing. Four, one, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, now when we get into the verse. We play G minor seven. So you can go ahead and check that out and get used to that. Um, but there are a fair amount of chords that I'm going to point out in the next video to break down that verse for you guys. And that is all over at hdpiano.com. All right, so you've got what you need. Just be sure. Oh, you know, I do want to point out, not too much pedal. Lay off that pedal. I want to keep it real simple, real nice and dry. Um, at most, pedaling on each, uh, you know, each quarter note. But uh, no more than that. And it really doesn't call for pedal. So if you're one of those people, one of those pedal people, be careful. All right, I'll see you guys over at part two at hdpiano.com. But in the meantime, give us a like on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash hdpiano. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter at hdpiano. We take requests on Twitter using the hashtag hdrequest. So give us a tweet if there's anything you want us to teach. And on Instagram, we're happy to repost your performance of anything in our catalog. So share it with us and we'll share it with our followers. 
All right, guys, good work thus far with the main riff. We'll see you over at part two, and I'll show you guys the verse. This is Devin with hdpiano.com. Tune it up.